Hi there, welcome to the video and those watching this live premiere. Today I have breaking news for you and it's bad news. As of just recently, the human remains of missing person Christine Passe Parker have been found and recovered 12 miles away from where her vehicle was found abandoned. Today I want to present to you the official statement from the family as of just recent time, and then apply it to Google Earth and do a brief map analysis to try and roughly pinpoint as to where Christine Passe Parker could have been found. As said, it's only happened recently, so the family probably aren't quite willing to talk or open up to that extent. There are questions regarding police investigations searches, whether it be the lack of it or the you know, the focus on key areas, considering that area had been previously searched numerous times. I want to try and put it all into perspective today. So feel free to stick around from start to finish to truly understand this video, the breaking news, the bad news of what's happened. Now, some people may already be aware of what's gone on in the background and stuff. But previously, it wasn't quite the right time. It wasn't appropriate timing, considering it wasn't announced publicly. But it has been now, and that's why I'm making this video. So for those that want to catch up on my previous coverage of other cases, you're welcome to do so. If you missed out on any of the videos, top right corner of the screen, click the eye symbol, and you'll be relocated to them. For those that are currently here in the live chat, let me know your thoughts and reactions to hearing about the news of Christine Passe Parker found dead. And you know, if you want, if you've got any questions, any important stuff, leave it down below in the comment section. There'll be a pinned comment by me if you want to check that out. But the most important focus of today is trying to make sense of this breaking news. Let's get straight into the Facebook page and see what the family have had to say. So here is the page, we just scroll on down, there was a post 18 hours ago updating their cover photo. As you can see there, missing slash endangered, now found, rest in peace, Christine Passe Parker. It does give some details below of what previously happened, we can always go back over that shortly. But lower down, a bit more of a description here, 18 hours ago, they say, it is with heavy hearts that we announce Christine Passe Parker has passed away. Thank you to everyone for the post, sharing, sending love, prayers and helping with our search. Although this isn't the outcome we wanted, we will now bring Christine home. Please respect the family's privacy at this difficult time. So you can see the photo there. Okay. As I said, regarding certain questions of what ifs or how did that happen, etc., Maybe it's not the right time to dig into it. We can briefly touch upon it later, of course. But I just wanted to present this to you because it's official. Okay, this is what's happened. This is the breaking news. And as for the descriptions, it was mentioned by um, an individual, I guess, who's in contact or aware of this case that mentioned about the mileage of where Christine was found. No coordinates have been given at this moment in time, but we can at least try to make sense of the area itself where Christine was found to see, you know, the different possibilities and, you know, the true distance away from the truck itself. Well, here we are. I'm going to explain what the different markers and stuff mean. Um, we've also got the dates, times of how the events played out to begin with back in 2023 when she was reported missing. If we do zoom on out, there's a few of her colour codings and stuff which are irrelevant now, so ignore them. Um, just as a heads up, it seems as if Christine never really left the area where her truck was found abandoned in one way or another, okay? So we've got to try and understand how wasn't how was she not found earlier, right? But without bashing anyone, let's not go there just yet. Now, as for all of those supposed sightings of Christine, whether it be down there near Reno 
or Las Vegas multiple times, it makes you wonder, those people that supposedly saw Christine, was it just mistaken identity? Was it a supposed lookalike? Kind of weird, isn't it? When there were so many different reported sightings all over the place, and yet that wasn't true. It was back at the origins, you could call it. So just to briefly explain how things, you know, escalated. Christine, at the time, when she was last seen before going missing, was August 6th, 2023. And seen on, I guess, CCTV camera around 4.30pm. And that was inside of some motel within the area. And this is known as, I think, Battle Mountain, Nevada as you see here. So I'm not quite sure which motel it was, but she was checking into one. I believe at the time she was a bit confused as to why she was there, taking in mind that she was off her medication at the time, which may have led to side effects such as panicking, getting confused, and eventually not quite thinking clearly. And I don't know if you'd call it running away or more so moving on. But around the time of 4.30pm, I can't remember if it was before or after trying to book a motel room for the night or so, Christine did try ringing her husband and the phone call was successful. The husband was supposed to come on down to help and pick her up because Christine at the time on the phone said she wanted to be helped. She needed to be picked up because she didn't know where she was. But before the husband could get down there in time, Christine already left the area. Maybe because of panicking, confused, okay? And the route that she took, just flip it, I think it's the Dwight D. Eisenhower Highway, as you see that way. Passing through Golconda, I believe there was a phone ping or some kind of phone activity roughly in this area in between Winnemucca as well, as you see there. This is the highway, highlighted in the red line. Coming around this way, approaching Mill City and near to Lemley, and supposedly taking a turn off this highway, let's say from this angle, to get onto the off-road dirt roads and for some reason, approaching Eugene Mountains, okay? Roughly in this area, Eugene Mountains was the location where her car was initially found abandoned. It was, it was assumed that her vehicle got stuck or hit a rock, so she got out and begun walking somewhere. Now, at what point did the dogs leave her? That's unknown. She had two dogs with her, I believe Border Collies. They have not been found yet. So that's kind of, I guess, concerning to some people, right? We get a bit closer here. No clear coordinates were provided initially regarding exactly where her vehicle was found. Uh, one of the key individuals on my channel, a viewer, but also a key person that was willing to try and help or so within this case, initially reached out to police or so regarding the coordinates and the police would not give them. So that's kind of unfortunate there. But yes, Eugene Mountains. Now, the timing of it, August 15th, her car found by a hunter within the area. So from August 6th to August 15th, for that length of time, how long was Christine alive for? I know it's a bad or dark negative question to ask, but, you know, if it can be answered with time, then maybe it will help better understand the story, the case, the outcome of her, right? Because you think of a mountainous area like here, okay? And there'll be some dangerous areas, right? The slopes, the cliffs, the drops, the rocks, maybe wildlife possibly. And if she's got out of her car, as she did, left her card, her phone behind, by the side of the car on the floor... She doesn't have any means of contact with anyone. She can't. Now, which direction did she go in from there? Did she stumble about? Did she injure herself? Was it accidental? Was there any foul play? That still remains unknown. But what is known is that she was found. Her remains were found. 
and it was also confirmed by a key person within the chat recently that it was 12 miles away from where her vehicle was found initially. So with that being in mind, I've created kind of a radius. Take in mind, Google Earth projects don't allow circles. So I've had to do kind of like a square or rectangle. Hopefully people understand that. So I'm just gonna click north, first of all, flip the image so you get an idea of what it looks like. So because there was no direction, compass point given, no coordinates, just the simple fact that 12 miles apart from the vehicle to her remains, I thought, well, we'll do it 12 miles north, 12 miles east, south and west. So this is kind of like the radius of what you get, roughly speaking, within a 12 mile radius. And we can zoom on in, we can have a look at the ground level to see, is there anything of interest? Is there any dodgy or dark areas, dangerous places which Christine may have stumbled upon? Any bad people in these areas? If anyone's watching right now or on catch up, be sure to share your thoughts of this area in general, this radius. If you know anything about the place, any history, any trouble in the past, any other people going missing around here, let me know. Now, I'm aware that people previously were skeptical of Eugene Mountains and the fact that she ended up here. Why would you go all the way down from Battle Mountain, Nevada, down the highway, covering all that distance to just end up here? Well, as said, because she was off her medication, she wasn't, well, possibly she wasn't quite thinking clearly. So it led to random on the spot decisions being made possibly. What I do wish to do, if possible, is find these points, the 360 degree points, just so you get an idea of the area. So this is kind of like on one of the peaks of Eugene Mountains, as you can see. And we've used it in the past to try and understand whereabout was her vehicle initially. We didn't reach a conclusion, unfortunately, but part of me thinks it couldn't have been this high up because it's, it's you know, off road. There's no track marks. You probably think lower down in the valley, maybe somewhere down there, but where it's accessible, you would think, right? I mean, there might be some photos. I said, I'm, I'm telling you this whole story so you understand how it all played out, okay? If you do want any detailed videos, previous coverage, that is on my channel, okay? But when we like look at these photos here, right? You've got the dirt bike, vehicles, that's completely off-road there, so you wouldn't really be using a vehicle in that spot. You look at a location like that, right? Looks like a dirt road, but full of vegetation and it's like it's not been used for a long time so was that the position Christine was in if she was driving off the beaten pathway or an abandoned roadway and ended up colliding with a rock getting stuck in the mud or ground then having to abandon the vehicle because it would help better understand the location just to try and understand you know what direction could she have walked in was she walking towards a drop, a cliff? Was she going down a steep slope? Or was it flat ground, okay? As you see there, there's a bit more of a main road, so it could have been on the side of a place like that, for example. If any updates can be provided for vehicle whereabouts, that would be helpful, of course. Leave comments down below if possible. So, enough of that. Just get rid of that for now. So we're taking this area in mind. You might wonder what the colour differences are in places. I think that's just because the satellite imagery was stitched together over time through the years. The initial idea, the concept, the theory originally was maybe Christine, you know, abandoned her vehicle because she got stuck, made it to maybe Mill City near Lemley, made it to the highway, which is highlighted in red. So we just zoom on in. Could have walked back the way she came possibly it's not too far to walk i guess but then it depends what situation you're in whether you're hydrated or not but you can see you can make it to the highway and near to the highway i don't think 
it, well, there's some like trailers there, correct me if I'm wrong. I think they're trailers houses possibly, but there is like a truck stop. Is that further up? Yeah, you got a truck stop here, okay? So she did drive past it initially. She could have come back round, but on foot to get to here in hopes of being rescued or even hitchhiking. That was the initial thought, hitchhiking off the highway. And then that led to the possibilities of sightings elsewhere in Las Vegas, near Reno, etc. But obviously that turned out to be not the case. But there is still that every chance she tried making it back to the highway. Because when we zoom on out and you look at this slight radius, it does cover the area, or at least part of the highway, and it also includes Lemley, right? Now, I know there's other directions too which need to be considered, but it's a start in trying to understand. <coughs> Apologies of a do cough, it's just the stupid cough is still around, okay? So I guess what we could do first is look 12 miles north away from her vehicle, okay? Could she have walked in a straight line? Probably not, but roughly in that area north, what are we looking at? What are we working with? Because the reason why it's important to understand the area and environment is if the initial searches were done professionally and conducted well, and a lot of effort and time was put into this area of Eugene Mountains, they said the whole area was initially searched, yet they didn't find her back then. So the question could be, why did it take so long? Why did it take up until now to come across her? Is it because she was hidden, concealed, right? So by understanding the area of what we're looking at, are we looking at flat ground? Are we looking at an area where it's very patchy, full of vegetation, maybe filled in, any holes in the grounds, any dips, any obstructions where your viewpoint, point of view could be blinded in a way, right? Because if you've got people on foot, you got flyby overs. How did they not see Christine at the time? Now, of course, there'd be maybe many factors to consider. We don't have to get into them all now. Let's at just least focus on the ground. So obviously, as you can see here, desert area. With it being desert area, it'll be more vast and open, of course. Coming away from the mountainous area, if they're saying specifically 12 miles away from where her vehicle was within Eugene Mountains, basically each of those blue points pointing in north, east, south, west would indicate and suggest that she was nowhere near the mountains. She was on flat ground from what we can see on this radius, okay? It's like the epicenter of it all is Eugene Mountains, where it's tall, bumpy, mountainous terrain. But then 12 miles in each direction, the gradient becomes more neutral. The ground becomes more flatter and not as dense in vegetation because it's desert terrain. It's open, it's vast, it's clear. So with looking at flat ground and it being quite open, does that mean to say that Christine's body was found face first or flat on the ground? That if a flyby was conducted, would you have seen her or not? Or was she concealed in some way or another, right? That's what we need to try and understand. So by looking north and coming down from the mountainous area, okay, over that way you got Blue Mountain. A smaller one, but it's still there and a fair peak. Could she have ended up in that direction? I don't think she would. I believe the family said that Christine was known for hiking in the past. She liked that activity. I don't know with that experience or that interest, would it lead her to Eugene Mountains in the first place or not? And then hiking elsewhere spontaneously, who knows? But as we can see in this area, there appears to be pivots, a farm or some kind of farm. What do we have here? They seem like cylinders, drums, grain shed, a barn, okay? Could she have been found near to this ranch, this like farmyard? I wonder. 
Now, there don't seem to be any houses at the moment, just more so buildings. Where's the local farm, if there is one? You got, like, a, is that a highway or just a normal road? Looks a bit, a bit dirty. Uh, what do we have here? Blue Mountain Geothermal Power. Right, so I'm sure there might have been some cameras in this area, but I don't know if there's much human activity or not, or if it's monitored from further afar. There might be some restricted land as well, which we may need to consider, but from the looks of it, Blue Mountains may be associated, or at least in um, proximity to this geothermal place. Maybe it's a public hike spot. I mean, if we flip the image, you can clearly see Eugene Mountains over in that direction. Near to Pronto, which is the main road. I said, what I'm looking for is the ground, okay? What does the ground and area look like? Anything of interest, because if it's so flat and open, then surely they would have seen her. Now, I understand if the focus and concentration was at Eugene Mountains, but did they ever search 12 miles away from Eugene Mountains? If they didn't, then maybe it could be understandable as to why they didn't find her remains immediately, right? But this looks very vast and open and I know I know that looks can be deceiving in real life but if we're comparing this to similar terrain to the Dylan Rounds case in Lucent, Utah I mean there are similarities to be made right very vast and open and of course a lot of distance to cover as for those blue markers as I said this is directly in this spot roughly well Directly, this is 12 miles away from Eugene Mountains and her vehicle. So re realistically, we'd be looking within this zone, within this area, right? So it's actually past the farm, as we see there. I don't know why there's no, like, houses or buildings. Maybe I'm looking in the wrong area. I don't think this pivot has, these pivots have anything to do with the mountain geothermal power. Just normally when you get like a farm, a ranch, there's some kind of building, house within the area. We're on the outside of the radius now, so this is invalid, but I was just looking for any buildings. What do we have there? Ah, oh. that looks like some kind of farm or buildings. Maybe activity, you could have like some RV trailers, white trailers possibly. So there's activity there. Maybe you own some of the land within the area. You can see these like outlines like a, ah, uh, this is one big, um, yeah, pivots, two pivots here, which are connected, I guess, with this farm there. Okay, is it within the radius? Yes, it is in the far corner west. So roughly in this area, she could have been um, found possibly. Okay, but as for down here, um, we're not looking north. If we're looking north, I'll just rotate it around just so it's easier for viewing, okay? Near to Blue Mountains, near to these pivots. Not much going on over here. Somewhat north, west. Could that be a dried salt lake? Some kind of lake, possibly? Looks fairly clear, doesn't it? Some mountains there. Now, apologies if some people get motion sick. I know Tasha T gets motion sickness from this, but I just want to be efficient in searching about. If you do want to slow the video down, you can in the settings. Or if you want to pause the video to get a better idea of the location, feel free to do so. I just wanted to tick it off the list as for what this area looks like north. So roughly in this area, this is where Christine could have been found if it was in this direction, right? Some patchy areas there. Um, ah, that's for animals, isn't it? Like drinking out of. Yeah, okay. What do we have here? Patchiness. Ah. Ah, okay. There appears to be some kind of farm here or something. Ranch. I don't know if it's connected to those pivots what we saw further back north. 
supposed to be a tractor there. It's very, um, in such a sparse open place, it's very tightly knitted together. I mean, you've got some building structures there, maybe some scrap vehicles, some trucks or trailers. Yeah, people living on site, possibly. It, it wouldn't be out of the ordinary. It's within, you know, the radius. So what, what I'm trying to suggest is if you've got these areas of interest, which are not far from where she was supposedly found, if it was in this direction, could it hint at the possibilities that these on site were witnesses of seeing something or not? Especially if you go from the 6th of August when she was last seen and on the day she went missing, um, was August the 6th the same day she unfortunately passed away? Or is it a few days later? Because by the 15th of August her vehicle was found abandoned, but how many days did she survive for? How long did she spend on foot? It could be as short as on the 6th of August. It all happened on that one day as everything played out. From the 6th of August to um, February. Exactly when in February? February 15th, February 20th, 2024. It's been many, many months since. And over those many months it's only just now she's been found. So people on site here, ranchers, farm workers, people living off grid, did they ever see Christine Passe Parker passing by? Did they ever see her in the distance collapse or something? Because some of these people will be out on the go, whether it be hiking about, walking around, surveying the area, moving on, going to their piece of land they may own, right? I'm not saying it's the case, but if by any chance that this place was somewhat linked to um, what we see here, right? It's already within the area, 12 miles north of her vehicle. So if Christine was anywhere around here, surely someone would have seen her or reported her sooner with one, it being open flat ground and two, a form of human activity considering pivots here need to be maintained throughout time, right? And likely there'll be farmers, ranchers on site nearby in proximity. So, because that didn't happen here, no reportings early on, maybe this wasn't the direction or location. We need to look maybe east, aside from north. I said, we weren't given a direction, only the mileage. And that's why I've pinpointed it all out to just really understand the whole area. So over this way, very sparse, very open, bit of farm ac farming activity in life. We could have a quick look at Blue Mountain if it is available. As you can see, look at that. Now, I don't know if that's looking at Blue Mountain in the distance or not, but look how dry it is. Look how sparse and open. You've got a flyby going on over. Surely they would have seen something on the ground. Kind of like when Heavy D and his crew did a flyby, I think it might have been on the way back or on the way to the site of Luce in Utah and they actually indirectly came across another person that passed away that was found laying on the ground and they saw it from up above. They did cut it out of their documentary video on YouTube, you know, out of respect and privacy, but it just goes to show what you can see at times from um, bird's eye view. Okay, so we've got a bit of wildlife and stuff, not exactly too harmful. I don't know in, in these type of areas would there be like uh, certain dangerous snakes or would be the on mountain lions. I mean, we're looking at Nevada, aren't we? So it's very, very possible. M maybe more so near mountainous areas if you've got mountain lions and they've got the little dens and the caves. There's another photo perspective. Quite colourful, that. And then there we go once again. So it's very open. You've got some farmland. And you probably get parcel of lands which may look inhabitable. They may look very empty and desolate. But they can still be owned by somebody elsewhere or maybe in a different state. Just as a suggestion. Okay. So let's just clear that. I think what we need to move on to now is the next direction. And this could be arguably one of the more important ones to be fair.
so roughly car within Eugene Mountains. If we look east, as you can see, the, the rough radius just touches upon Grass Valley, as you can see. But within, it does cover Mill City, it does cover the truck stop, it covers Lemley, and near the power station of Lemley, where the initial volunteers and people were all meeting up at that substation or something, which um, I think it could have been somewhere there nearby. So it makes you think, maybe not directly near the highway that Christine was found, because if people were hanging, meeting round here, then surely they would have seen her or come across her in this area. But you don't have to, that might be, that's probably more, what, southeast, kind of southeast. If we're looking straight, flat east over this way, once again, you're coming off from the mountainous area as if you were almost going the way you originally came, but this time on foot, if it was Christine Passe Park in her situation. The one issue you do face, though, when going this way, I can't remember if it's a wash. It looks like a wash or it's some kind of river. Just before you get to the highway, you got this, like, wash, central creek, does it have names? No, not from the looks of it. So this spiralling in and out, whether it's full of water or not at the time, you could fall in. You could injure yourself, right? And it is within the area of the marker. You can see the distance it covers. It actually goes through Winnemucca, as you see there. It covers a lot of distance. I don't know where it actually stops at. If we were just to follow it, to be honest, it just keeps going on and on and on. Right, you follow it. It really does cover quite a bit. Golconda. Apologies about this. I just wanted to see how far it actually goes. Maybe, does it actually stop? That is, that is great distance, to be honest. It looks like it actually passes by. It does. It actually crosses past, well, goes through the area of where she was last seen on August 6, 2023, Battle Mountain. Now, she's not going to end up back here. I'm not saying that, and obviously that's not the case. But you see the, the sheer distance it covers that wash or lake, not, not lake, wash or river. So focusing on this particular section of the wash, which is in parallel to the highway she originally drove down. Now, to cross over from the highway to get to Eugene Mountains, I said you followed the um, red line where you see Mill City, and you look at the roads, how it can kind of cross over. I said, I'm not an expert with roads in America, but there is like a turn-off point, okay? If not, if that's not quite possible, I think um, at Lemley, Lemley, there is more of an alternative turn-off point somewhere here and eventually you can cross on over can you cross on over here it's very hard to tell it's weird patterns but at least from when i looked at the the red line it looks like you can go that way you can because when we did street view okay so you got the highway there kind of goes across a bridge at one point but you probably able to cut on down from over that way and come down to here. I said, I know people drive on the opposite side of the road compared to US, UK, but I think most people can figure it out, right? In a, in a sense, roughly speaking, how you can end up getting here. That says for sale. But you see how desolate and empty and open it is. This is kind of like in the east area and not far from over that way, further on down past those trailers and stuff, you'll have that truck stop, okay? Over that way is... Um, Eugene Mountains, okay. I don't know how far we can go down. But I said she could have drove all the way down there to get to the mountains and then walk back down this way, possibly. And along the way, at some point, may have collapsed. But obviously, the closer you are to the highway, the more exposed you are and the more you're going to stand out. Surely, if it was in this area, 
someone would have reported her sooner than later. And also the witnesses over there, if they were witnesses, okay? Those trailers, what you see, I believe. Let's get out of that. Get rid of this. Got some trailers there, RV trailers, okay? Got some more buildings, houses. I can't remember if people said this er if this area was dodgy or not. They might have said there were okay people. Is that abandoned or not? Hard to tell. But looking in the east section away from Eugene Mountains, yes, it's flat ground once again. But you do have more activity in this direction. Factor number one, it's the way she originally came, at least, to get to Eugene Mountains. Factor number two, you've got the obstacle and obstruction of this crossing point here, a wash which can be deep in areas and difficult to cross. And if you ended up falling into it, you could get trapped, you could get hurt. Yes, there is um, a road here which passes on over it. And I think that's a bridge. I think that might be a bridge. Can we get on street view no it, it won't allow me past this point so that's unfortunate but as you can see you're not going to have an opportunity to cross at every single point so if she came east or came at a funny angle northeast over that way away from eugene mountains from up there coming on down to this ground in this area maybe approaching the highway possibly trying to get help but in the process, you know, was there an accident? An accident with trying to cross the wash here. As you can see, filled with water from this time of when it was taken. Maybe she struggled. You don't have a crossing at every point, do you? You'd have to find a road or a bridge which allows you, enables you to cross on over. And for some distance, you can't. At least from what I can see here it's difficult to do so. That's why it takes some time to get down the highway to eventually cross on over and get to the mountainous area. As for the lower ground, roughly here, okay, you got Stank Canyon, interesting name, Springer Canyon. There's any familiar names which show up to people. You seem to have some kind of mining thing or some kind of quarry going on, buildings too human activity going on, as you can see. Slightly higher up, you got these mounds where it looks like digging has taken place, like a quarry would. The mounds, dirt mounds, the coloration of it all, if it be clay, soil, dirt, gravel, right? So some kind of activity in this area. Could she have got caught up in this area? If she did, surely that if there was human activity still operating in this spot, they would have reported on it sooner than later. You get what I'm saying? We're trying to look at areas where maybe it's more desolate and possibly concealed. That would help make more sense as to why it took so long for Christine to be found. Okay? It would be the most possible or understandable uh, routes, though, heading this direction east, away from uh, Eugene Mountains, because it's as if she's trying to get to civilization. Maybe she's trying to hitchhike. Maybe she's not that it was planned, but is there a small chance that in her mind she thought, right, oh, I've remembered, husband's picking me up but slightly confused as to where. Oh, I'll try and get on down to the highway and wait on the side of the road. But she never quite made it to that point, right? Different possibilities going for her mind. Kind of flat ground here. We've got Olsen Canyon. You see there. Still kind of bumpy in areas, right? Even on lower ground, you could slip on a rock, a loose stone and fall on the floor, maybe bang your head, that would, can be unfortunate outcome, but it, it can happen. Okay. So once again, it, it's very vast. The, you know, the different, the distance between Eugene Mountains and the highway, not too extreme, but more than enough to cover in distance on foot. 
and you know the time the time of it all just remember um 4 30 p.m she was last seen and she covered some time and distance getting to eugene mountains and then upon getting stuck getting out of the vehicle and moving on on foot with her dogs or without you know that time in the day it'll be getting to night time eventually and it'll be getting dark so was christine on foot on the move in the dark possibly in the evening obviously that would have made it much more difficult and dangerous especially since she probably didn't have a torch with her and her phone which may have had a torch on was left at her vehicle so in a way she could have been stumbling around in the dark which at any point no matter where you are can be dangerous but you know we've got pronto we looked over that way that's already been checked lower ground you'd think it can't be too close to the highway over this way even though the 12 mile marker is over here right even though it's roughly in this area this is the spot exactly 12 miles away from her vehicle you wouldn't think it would be directly here just because before that maybe it would make more sense but at this exact point as the key person stated in the background it's too close to human activity maybe too close to surveillance if there's any cameras someone would have seen her if it was in this area and as well if for whatever reason she tried crossing the highway which is probably very dangerous of course something would have happened someone would have seen something and if it was you know fatal like a car colliding with her then obviously it would have been reported immediately that didn't happen either so that would be ruled off the list here to be honest unless somehow she managed to cross the highway at some point and then approach the mountains of either rose creek mountain dun glen peak or old lang sin peak sign peak they are within the area well two of them are at least rose creek mountain and dun glen peak let's just have a quick look at them is there any photos available no there isn't that's unfortunate that rose creek mountains there we go so i do this just to get a better understanding of the area like ground view point of view from the looks of this row, I don't know what's going on there. It's like some kind of house or complex building near to a waterfall in a wooded area. Is this the same location we're looking at on maps? I, I don't really see the desert terrain. Take in mind, sometimes people upload random photos of the wrong area. And I don't know if this is an example of one. I don't know who that person is. Um, it doesn't seem to match on here, at least, unless... Unless it's a specific area. I can't quite see those buildings. But, you know, an area like this, obviously mountainous, hard to get to and hike up. But it's more concealed with the trees, the vegetation, a bit more dense. But I think it's unlikely that she would have made it here. Especially with all the distance um, from over that way. So I just don't think it's possible. It's within the radius, though, of where she was found in a direction but i don't think she would have made it all the way up there because it depends what energy she had at the time osborne's canyon let me know in the chat comment section any time stamps drop them down below if you've seen anything of interest anything dodgy stands out odd of interest what's that little white horse canyon so by this point yes it's within the 12 mile radius uh, well the distance from the vehicle it checks the box there but in order to get to this point you got to cross over a wash depending on what point you cross at and then you got to cross the highway and that's all on foot so i don't know <coughs> i would kind of rule it out this bit there's more dangers and obstacles going east from Eugene Mountains than there was going north, right? When going north, it got to flatter ground. There wasn't any highways. There wasn't any washes. It was a bit easier to walk on if you were walking in that direction, okay? 
There's more surveillance here and more opportunities of witness reports than there would be north, where it's more desolate, okay? Of course, if coordinates, directions are given with time or does answers, it can be applied to this video. We can reinforce, we can debunk, we, you know, do what we can at the time when it's the appropriate timing, right? So I think ultimately the biggest issue is this wash here trying to cross it, right? You got like a dirt road which reaches it and then what? There's no bridge, there's no crossing. There might be some experts out there more familiar with the area. If you want to leave your thoughts as to other possible areas where one could walk on over the wash without getting injured, besides going back down to Mill City, feel free to explain, okay? Once again, you got some more pivots here, farming activity, okay? So with that being in mind, we've kind of roughly looked 12 miles east. Yeah, definitely in the more populated place compared to north. Now, returning back to the epicenter, the midpoint. If I just rotate round, what about south? What is in that direction of south? Anything of interest shows up. Well, arguably speaking, more so south, you'd probably say southeast though, towards Mill City from Eugene Mountains. Lemley, almost tw literally, kind of, well, 12 miles Lemley is from Eugene Mountains. Now, Lemley was the meeting spot by those volunteers and family members and friends of Christine Passy Parker. So you'd think directly in that spot, the 12 mile marker over there, it wouldn't seem likely that Christine would be there because surely those volunteers and people showing up and family and stuff gathering, they would have seen her in that meeting point, that rough area. I said, there's nothing, there's nothing to take away. There's always that suggestion and open possibility that uh, before the 12 mile mark, she could have been found 11 miles away from the vehicle or 10 miles, okay? I'm just specifically saying 12 miles because that's what was said, right? But you've always got the distance just before the marker as to where she could have been. So once again, kind of sparse in the area. Of course, you got the wash there. Mill City, almost heading on the way she, she actually came up, possibly, where you can cross on over where that bridge is, as said. Is there any other crossing points further down south there where the marker is at Lemley? Likely there is one. Maybe I can't see it at this moment in time. Lander Creek. It looks so weird visually, right? I can't quite see a crossing point. It still seems to be near Mill City where the point is. So if there is no more crossings in between at this marker of south, then I don't think she would have managed to cross over this point. So we'd be looking just before that, which once again is flat, open ground and terrain, desert terrain again. Looking in each direction. Over that way, Last Ends Meadows. Anything else? We don't need to focus too much here, Miller Spring, because we did actually do a map analysis of Eugene Mountains itself, looking at the, the angles and entrance ways, which, you know, there's different pathways or roads, some more demanding, dangerous than others, but if heading gone down to get to flatter ground, this is what you're greeted with. Does anything stand out of interest? Some weird black liquid or stuff going on there. I can't really see much activity of people parking by. Some dirt roads. Not seeing any trailers. Out of interest, Well, there's that marker, the 12 mile marker from the possible vehicle. Okay. That looks like, is that a parking zone, a point or something, maybe? Where you'd park up and walk? Some kind of farm, residence, ranch, and then there's Lemley. 
the this key area here where the family volunteers and stuff gathered together nearby to uh, some power station or so where they met up I think it was I think it was here near to that elementary school meeting up to head on over that way to Eugene Mountains from which direction probably near to Mill City that way but within this area is it that chance that Christine was here all along near to where the family friends were meeting up? It's a very dark thought, of course, but it's just a question that needs to be put out there. But I would say it can't be too close by because surely they would have seen it themselves or a witness in between. Because take in mind, if it's only over the course of a day or two until the person's found, in between that blank spot, okay, maybe there's room for people not quite passing by a particular area but you know the the longer the time you give it the higher the chances that as time passes by at least someone will go down that dirt road at least someone may hike by or stop up to look around and look at the scenery and maybe by then there's that higher chance that someone may identify something wrong or see someone in distress or you know, that's passed away. That's not what's happened here. So maybe if it is south, it would have to be before and further away from Lemley, away from human activity. And you've even got some of these like main roads here, I believe, like tarmac, so Pitt Taylor Diversion Canal. Right, so it's this road here from Lemley which actually crosses on over another bridge. So this is the second bridge crossing I've seen. Though, is it south? It's more so, well, it's kind of south, maybe southwest or so, in the distance, Thunder Mountain. So in an area like this, do we have street view? No, oh, we don't, which is unfortunate. Very restrictive over here. All you've got is Lemley, the main road or the highway, passing on through. Yeah. That's unfortunate at that. But within this area, it does cover the radius. And there is an access point to cross over the wash from there on foot or by vehicle, just like how there was at Mill City, as we saw here. Bridge. Two bridges. Couldn't see any bridges over that way. Maybe further on, but that could be past the point of the radius. Okay. So that's south. There's only one last place to look west. What is the heading west? Let's get back to the main point, middle section or so, roughly speaking. I'd say, arguably, this is almost as desolate as if you used to go north. You know, it's away from civilization. It, it, it's away from a, a little town or a city. It's going out into the, the further depths of the Nevada desert, let's call it that. In the desert, you've got Black Rock Desert, High Rock Canyon, Emigrant... So coming on down, you've got flat land, but it's a bit more abrupt, right? Depending which way you came down. You've got Woody Canyon, unless that's where Christine came down. That would be possible. But the other canyons, Glidden Canyon, it's a lot more steeper. And that could have been dangerous for Christine. But what I'm saying is, if Christine made an attempt to walk down Eugene Mountains, depending how high she, up she was in the first place. If she did fall and injure herself, that would have been way before the 12-mile mark of the distance between the vehicle and her, so it, it would be invalid. And considering searches were specifically done in this area, it just wouldn't match up, and surely they would have found her by then, but they didn't. So it would mean that she, probably, as chances are, she moved away from the mountainous area. So lower ground, it does become very flat, as you can see, very desolate. There's the marker over there, 12 miles west. There's another like mound, hill, mountain over this way, looks to be unnamed. I don't think there's any indications or mentions of Christine being found in the mine shaft. that doesn't seem to be the case. Over this way though, the ground looks very dark and black. Is that the shading? Is it some kind of reaction, natural rock? Has it got anything? Maybe the lighting shadows of satellite imagery was stitched together. Or if it had anything to do with mining, 
digging up stuff. What do we have here? We've got some kind of shed or barn there with like um, a square perimeter, fenced with something in the middle. I don't know if that's a place of living or not. It's not that far away from Eugene Mountains, but it's like a blind spot. Okay, let, let's um, look at it from this perspective. If somehow she managed, I'll just zoom out because he doesn't like it when I do that. If somehow she managed to come down from Eugene Mountains, heading west over in this direction, well, yes, this is a good example of being quite open, sparse and empty and really not much sign of life in this area. What you do have is this mountain here, this little mountain, if you want to call it that, which just before that, on ground level, look how Eugene Mountains disappears. That's probably how it would be in a way in real life. So it's a blind spot. And that's what I was trying to highlight earlier on in this video. Are there any areas of interest within the 12 mile marker zone radius that might be flat ground, which could be very sparse and open, but it just so happens that nearby, just before, but after Eugene Mountains, there was a blind spot where if she did make it down to this lower ground and collapsed on the floor or whatever, and you got flybys and stuff, mainly focusing on this area here, that may not get the, the true extent or clear vision as on the other side of this mountainous area over this way, right? Just a possibility, just wanted to throw it out there. Because if everything was all flat and open, then there would be weird questioning as to how it wasn't done sooner than later. So I'm just trying to find the possibilities to try and explain why it took so long. Not that I'm defending the police, I'm not defending um, you know, the searches in that sense, I'm just trying to balance it out. And if we can't quite balance it out right now, maybe factors come along with time descriptions. Maybe the conditions Christine was found in. Was there any sign of foul play? Did she get attacked by an animal? Were any humans, alternative people, present? As bad as that may sound, when you're in a desolate, vast, open area, but if there are people, I don't know, scouring the area, lurking or live roughly here, and they see a woman like Christine who can be considered vulnerable and has been considered by her family as definitely vulnerable um, when, when it comes to being off her medication, being tr too trustworthy. Did she come across the wrong person at the wrong time? And they did something bad and then left her, right? Is there any small chance that somebody kidnapped her for a certain amount of time, then disposed of her afterwards? And that's why for an initial time, a spell where... No one was able to find her in the open because she wasn't at a point. But then later she was disposed of. But surely you'd be checking for DNA and all of that, which maybe is too soon to be talking about. But you can see the radius, especially um, in this area here, very dry, very open. Yes, it's near the odd few main roads as we see here, but really nothing in between, much going on type of area where you should see a person if you're doing a flyby, right? If they're on the ground, let's say, flat out. Over this way there, where it gets a bit more rocky and bumpy again, you could get the odd blind spot as somehow falling into a ditch. Uneven ground, let's just say. I want to know your thoughts. What do you think are the chances of being over here? We could do a poll in general, um, a, a serious poll with regards to, based on the 12 mile distance away from where she was found compared to where her vehicle was initially found, in which direction do you think? North, east, south, west? Um, I won't be able to add the other options of northwest, southeast, southwest, you know, all those, northwest. I can't fit that many options into the poll, so we'll just keep it simple. North, east, south, west, 12 miles ahead. Which way do you think Christine was found at? If there's any key people here tonight, 
um, hopefully people understand this video, the purpose of it. Because I said initially I wasn't going to make it because it wasn't announced publicly on the page, but it has been now. So with that public confirmation, I guess it, you know, the timing is more appropriate now than before. So from here to south, in between, what do we have? Well, this vast open lake, if you'd call it that, it's definitely opened up compared to what we saw at the, the wash there. It opens up massively. Didn't hear any reports of found in water at Majuba Bay, so I think that would rule that out at this moment in time. But like the distance from there, 12 miles south to west, is the much in between. Not really, kind of flat ground again. Some mounds in between, but I just don't really see any trailers or much of interest. I mean, Eugene Mountains is like a spine because more so coming down south, it's a bit more gradual, the bumps, right? And maybe with the bumps, is there a small chance Dry Creek where she could have been found or initially not seen at first, then later found? Like, look down there, like a little gully, the way it drops down. Is, there, is that some kind of installation base, some, like, satellite or something? Yeah, it is. Aerials, satellite. Oh, higher up on the peak. Maybe manned, maybe some kind of camera surveillance. You've got to take in mind, is there any trail cameras within the area on the flatter ground? We saw that earlier. In any direction, any trail cameras on low ground? But do you see how vast and flat it is? Surely... Somewhere around here you would have seen her, unless it was over this way, as I said, which is at that blind spot from over that way. Even that spine there, coming down to Eugene Mountains south, is obstruction from over on the other side, kind of towards Mill City. And this mountain here, an obstruction blind spot from Eugene Mountains, even the peak, possibly. Now... With that being said, is there anything directly here? Once again, we come into like a bed of mountain area. That seems to be like a water hole, as we've seen in like Lewis and Utah. We've got Long Canyon, we've got Box Canyon. This is looking west, in case you're wondering. Seems to go on to, is that a main road or dirt road? Looks like it, you drive on free. Box Canyon Spring number two. Seems like we're going too far away, but once again, this is similar to east, east of Eugene Mountains with less obstacles along the way. So there's, there's no concern of approaching a wash or falling in. There's no concern of reaching a highway and getting knocked over by cars. There's less civilization and monitoring over this way. you got blind spots too. It's within the 12 mile distance marker of where vehicles found. Could it have been over this way? Did she attempt to continue hiking into more deeper terrain? I wonder. That would be a question. So, what is the difference or what's, what, what are we working with if we're looking north over that way? Well, once again, you can see the marker over there. If I just simply drag on over, besides your main road in between, it's really flat, exactly like how it was in the north area. You do have these like dried up, maybe lakes, ponds, possibly, which there could be a form of concealment in a way, depending on how you look at it. If one of the pond or lakes, whatever you want to call it, filled with water at the time, saturated, and somehow fell in and weighted down or something some kind of obstruction, um, concealment of a body, right? But there's not been any talk or mentions of found in water, so I guess that would be ruled out. And over this way, it does look pretty dry, so got to take that into mind, into consideration. As I said, this satellite imagery um, won't be directly relevant to the time she's gone missing, just working with what we've got, so time of the seasons and stuff can vary. I said, when we were originally looking north and we started heading more west, or like, kind of like, not quite, well, it's still west, isn't it, around this way, closest to that marker there, 
you do have this area where there seems to be maybe ranch work, farmers living on site, possibly with trailers as well. Was this a key hotspot for witnessing something? I mean, if anything, well, there are exposed to Eugene Mountains in the distance over there, as for like a viewpoint. But the lower mountain over that way, the blind spot from there in between to there. Did Christine make it down here or not? Okay. I mean, there's there's a chance I could be overestimating the ability of Christine Passe Parker under the conditions and environment she was in at the time. So it tells me that there was that discussion that on the day when it happened, it was raining or so. If that is the case, then that would obviously make situations a lot worse. Slippy rocks, slippy grounds, puddles, um, making ground harder to walk in and things a bit more unstable. But a place like this, right, when we look at these farms place of activity, out in the open, desolate, the only people around, roughly here, would they have seen anything? Were they involved, right? It's on um, like a, a main road, or a, a main dirt road at least, and it's within the radius, once again. So, let's just zoom on out. I just want to do one last thing, okay? I just want to briefly look at, you know, those little dots that show up. Just get an understanding. There's one actually on that main road. Right. Okay. Which way are we looking exactly? That goes off that way. Where's the highway? Is it over there? Possibly. Should be. Should be. Because over that way should be Eugene Mountains, right? This is a person that has just been hiking or exploring the area. But just, you know, for a, like a, a ground view perspective, understanding what it actually looks like. Because yes, you can look at maps, but it's even better when you can look at photos. So you've got some overhead lines, as you can see, scattered. Going in that direction. Dirt road there, activity of track marks. As you can see by this guy here. I think there might be someone in that vehicle as well. Uh, they might be operating... Are they operating a drone? No, there's another guy there. So two guys out and about exploring. Okay. This is not the truck of Christine's, in case you're wondering, just so no one gets confused. Okay, but, you know, when, when you can, like, visualise a truck, right, and it's in the area, roughly, maybe it helps better understand the possible story of Christine in her situation. She had, um, was it um, a grey or charcoal Tacoma pickup truck? Is it 2009? I can't quite remember the year of it. You can see over that way that defined road which goes over towards the mountainous area. And the sun too, but looking that way, which would have been, well, more so kind of west, very open and sparse, can't really see anything in the distance as for buildings. Over that way, still pretty sparse all around, to be honest. I had difficulties trying to find the highway, and it's not too far away, so it really does say a lot. Now, on ground, it might be hard to locate a person when it's so vast, but when there's usage of drones, which I believe there was in this case, and a flyby... It's supposed to lighten the load and make it a bit more easy and effective, right? Um, we've got another marker here, roughly close to 12 miles south, the Lemley. It seems to be near to the lake or so. Same person. They've been driving off-road, off the beaten path, literally. You can see it's um, it's not been used much at all because there's been vegetation growing in between. That appears to be the lake there, what you see, the shine of it, okay, where it opens up. I guess the interesting part is when, when we're looking here, right, even though it looks like flat ground on Google Earth, just a simple little mound like this can kind of obscure vision when searching about, so... Those obstructions you've got to really look out for, right? And pick up on. 
There seems like weird like holes in the ground. I don't know if that's like paw prints or something. But yeah. Eugene Mountains over that way. Okay. Zooming on out. Do we have any other points of interest over here? Get rid of that. No, there's just like no data, no recordings of the area besides that main road. Now we've got one north in the middle near to Blue Mountains, which is of use, but there's no more. I mean, you got the, what is that one? Damn, that's a lot of dots. Let's just click on one of them at least. Let's click on that. Uh, maybe not, I don't think it likes. Yeah, this is where it gets dodgy because sometimes you try and click on a marker, it doesn't load up because there's nothing to click on. Oh, there it is now. Is there? Right, okay. Different person, it's more so east. Once again, very vast, open. Let's wait for it to load up. Well, obviously it's a bit wonky, the imagery. It's gone a bit wrong there, but it's a bit more flatter, right? Not too much vegetation, not too much obscuring factors. Okay. I don't even know which way they were facing it. Can I? I don't know. Yeah, there we go. Just get the bearings correct. Because I wanted to try and look towards Eugene Mountains, but wouldn't allow me. And there's no more over here. So let's just check this one north of Eugene Mountains, near to the 12 mile marker as well, which is very interesting. Will it load up? Yeah, there we go, that's good. So I believe Eugene Mountains is over that way, if I'm correct in saying. It's by the same guy, so he has been out and about. Then if we can see like the ranch or farm, what we saw, or the pivots on the north area. I mean, over that way, I can see like white things. I don't know if that's buildings, outlines. I can see some mountains, them. Oh, there's a dog there. Oh, that, actually, that's kind of um, unfortunate coincidence, that. Because I think that's a border collie. That's kind of like the dog what Christine had. That's kind of a uh, bad time in that. But I guess um, with the discussion of the, the dogs, right, Christine had two. And I think they were, they were seen on camera back on the 6th at 4.30pm when she was in that motel trying to check in. Now, I failed to mention one key detail that she wasn't able to check in successfully at the motel earlier in the day. Well, not quite early in the day, but in, in the afternoon time because her card was denied. Is that because she didn't have money on it? Don't know. Maybe more so she might have inputted the numbers details in incorrectly because the family did say when she isn't on medication she can get confused she's forgetful so mistakes could have been made there is that very small chance that if she was able to book a room there she would have stayed the night and waited let's just say for the husband to come along but that just didn't happen so can't make it out even as far as hair how desolate so it there's a, a fair few similarities, isn't there? The similarities of it being open and flat. The more flat, the more open. You would have thought the quicker in finding Christine. But it, I guess it does come down to where were you initially searching and focusing on in the first place? Because if Eugene Mountains in the epicentre of it was the main f focal point, was the 12 miles northeast southwest possibly neglected? I mean, if it was, I'd kind of understand. But still, 12 miles away from the car, it's not a great distance, I guess, if you're in a vehicle or, you know, aerial flyby. Yeah. So I can't see any more markers from the looks of it. Some of the others are further out past the radius point. I said it, it's kind of roughly done this, but I've tried making it as accurate as possible to 
understand roughly the area of what we're looking at within this place. All in all, hopefully you found this video of interest. Feel free to leave a comment down below, begin some engagement, maybe we can get some more answers with time. Um, not so much to like the video in an entertaining way, but feel free to like the video because it will help spread the awareness so more people will see this video and see the news and outcome of Christine Passe Parker because you don't want people to be left in the dark about it. There'll be people on Facebook, but not everybody has access or has a profile on Facebook. That's why I've made this video today to present to you the official news, the official statement, and then applying it with the map analysis of what I've already looked at in the past and trying to piece it all together to get an understanding of the geographical location and the possibilities as to how this happened, how that didn't happen, the successes, the failures, etc. But as for the, you know, the pure critiques and all of that, probably not the right time. Maybe in the future, if the family um, feel a little bit better or something, they might start opening up a bit more or sharing their ideas and thoughts of possible problems, who knows. But I think we'll leave it there for now. As soon as there are updates or things that need to be added, I'll do a video on it. But this one itself was important enough and it was relevant at the time, so that needs to be covered. Other cases, other coverage can come soon. But for now, let's this just settle in. And yeah, I'll see you next time. For now, goodbye and good night.